Hello you Plonkers and welcome back today to another video on the Druzy channel, another trade video. I was having these things daily last week and it was easy to get them out because trades were happening every day. Then it just stagnated and there was only like two trades in four or five days or something like that. So I've waited until the deadline day and today I'll be covering all the deadline day deals that happened today which is Wednesday, so this will be out on Thursday. I haven't been uploading this week, and not that anyone cares, but I've just been busy with things outside of YouTube. I never forget about the channel, it's always on my mind, but uh, I haven't been uploading as much as I would have liked. But just know, when I do upload, it'll be coming with some heat, so just stay tuned to the channel. I've got uni exams coming up and whatnot, so I might not be able to upload as much as I would like to, but I'll be back and I'll be popping up here and there. Anyway, drop a like on the video if you enjoy it, drop a comment, share your thoughts, and subscribe if you're new and you enjoy the content. Anyway, let's get on with the trades. The first one that uh, people I think will be mainly interested in is Jordan Clark joining the Fremantle. Dockers, uh, Jordan Clark has joined Fremantle and we have received a future fourth round pick and Geelong have received pick 22 and a future third. Jordan Clark is a gun. I like him a lot. His first season at Geelong I thought was his best. He played most games if I remember correctly. And he's very versatile. He can play down in the back off the half back flank. He's very speedy, but he, he has great endurance as well. So he can run out games at a high intensity. He can play on the wing, which is a, a gaping hole in Fremantle's side at the moment. And he can even go up forward, play in the midfield. Mate, he, he's a swing man, wing man, ding man, mate. He can play wherever you'd like him to. So I'm very happy to have him, but we've given up pick 22 for him and a future third round pick. And we could have waited another year and got him for much cheaper. Clark obviously wanted to come back this year and he made it clear that he didn't want to play at Geelong. But I don't know. Pick 22 is a pretty decent pick for me. Obviously the talent hasn't been on display this year with New South Wales and Victoria being locked down for most of the year. But at the 22nd best player in the draft pool is at our disposal and we give him away when we can have that 22nd best player in the draft as well as Jordan Clark probably next year so I don't know weighing it up is Jordan Clark really going to be a massive point of difference for us to get rid of a second round pick I don't know it uh it baffled me a little bit but nevertheless Jordan Clark is a Frio player and I am very happy to welcome him on board the, the Frio the train the, the purple army welcome mate we are here with open arms come come so there it is we get Jordan Clark in a future fourth and Geelong at a second rounder and a third rounder as well. So a uh, good bit of business. Frio's trade window is done. Jordan Dawson to Adelaide has finally happened. This rumor has been out for ages that Jordan Dawson wants to go to Adelaide to return home to his home state, I believe. And uh, it's finally happened. It would have been hard negotiations for the whole trade period and before that. Finally caved in the Sydney Swans. They've got a first round pick for him, which is tied to Melbourne. So a future first for Jordan Dawson. That makes sense to me. Jordan Dawson is a good player. He fits the Adelaide age profile and uh, Sydney are going to get a good player in compensation of future first round pick. So I think both sides will be happy with the outcome. But he took ages for this to happen though. But uh, yeah, it's a fair trade for me. Another trade saga that has been going on is Peter Laddams. He's been exploring his options to leave Port Adelaide and he has landed on Sydney. Sydney have given Port a first round pick, which is currently pick 12 and a future third. Sydney received Peter Laddams and a first round pick, which is currently 16. So basically, Port move up the draft order by four and get a third rounder for Laddams. That's pretty much how it's worked out. Laddams averaged around 13 disposals and 13 hitouts last year. He's been sort of played as a second ruck to Scott Lice set, and I think he's more naturally a ruckman. So probably going to Sydney, he'll be able to play as that first ruck or get more ruck minutes and uh, his best footy could potentially flourish at Sydney. We could potentially see a Tom Hickey-esque season from Laddams this year. Port fans, let me know. Are you are you sad to see him go? Sydney fans, are you happy to have him on board? Let me know down below. Lots of big men moving around the league. Darcy Fort has joined Brisbane from Geelong. Geelong have received a third round pick in this year's draft and a future third round pick. So two third round picks. Brisbane obviously get Fort and a third round pick in this year's draft. Didn't play in 2021. Last game was in 2020. He's only played eight career games and in those eight games he's averaged 21 hitouts 
and nine disposals. Obviously, Brisbane don't have great ruck depth. They've got the big O, and then you, you'll see like a hit would just do the forward rucking, and that's not ideal, obviously. So having a backup ruck is important, and they've got their man. It's pretty clear why they've done it. Increase their ruck depth. Good bit of business by the Brisbane boys. The veteran ruck, Jonathan Segler, has joined Geelong from Hawthorne. Segler and a future fourth round pick go to Geelong, and Hawthorne receive a future third round pick. And, you know, this fits the Geelong player mould, if you will. A 30-year-old ruckman, probably in the twilight of his career. Doesn't have too much more to give. Just go down to Geelong, mate, and go play in the old people's home, which is Cadenia Park. Geelong have had a bit of a stinker trade period. Obviously, they didn't have a competitive edge this season. They got easily beaten by Melbourne. Given the list quality that they have, how much more can they improve to bring that X factor to win a flag with the side that they have? Is Segler gonna be that guy? I don't think so, he's a 30 year old Bruckman, but obviously they, that is a bit of a position of weakness for Geelong. I'm surprised they didn't go after someone like a Sean Darcy who has expressed interest in returning home in, in previous months. Obviously he's re-signed to Frio now, but I don't know, Reece Stanley hasn't been cutting it obviously for them if they're, they're going after another Ruck. And Stanley was originally a forward ruck, now he is their main ruckman. So they've added Segler in there, it'll take some off the load of Reese Stanley and Blixars as well. So another ruckman down at Cadenia Park, average business by the Cats. And the last trade off the deadline day that I'm going to cover is Max Lynch joining Hawthorne. He only played two games in 2021 where he averaged 11 disposals and 20 hitouts, which is quite respectable to be fair in two games. He replaces Segler as that backup ruck behind Ben McAvoy. Obviously Segler just left, as I just said, so he just fits into that spot. Hawthorne get Lynch, a future third and a future fourth round pick, and Collingwood receive two future third round picks. So Hawthorne win the trade obviously they they gain a player but Collingwood probably just trying to clear some of their wage bill obviously there's a financial absolute stinker going on at Collingwood at the moment so they lose a player lose a couple picks gain a couple but overall I think Hawthorne win this trade Collingwood seeming to just clear some salary space but nothing groundbreaking I mean he's played two games last year so watch this space we'll see if he blossoms but that's going to wrap up the, the trade period so I'll be recapping the trade period in different videos but uh that that's it for the daily slash weekly trade updates if you've enjoyed the trade content so far let me know down below drop a like on the video subscribe if you're new and I'll see you in the next video take care you plonkers